The purposes of the learning process are Tongat, do you know BTS? Yeah, I hear about them a lot these days. Let's hear their songs together. Okay, never mind. Let's, in the dialogue, indicate the expressions of how to invite someone to do something. Let's means let us. In bahas up, artinya itu adalah ayo kita atau kata ajakan. The formula is let plus bab one. Ya, remember, just bab one. Jadi, dia tidak ditambah embel-embel Tu di depan bar juga ingin nak jadi dia itu kata dasarnya bentuk pertama kata kerja bentuk pertama. For example, let's go, let's dance, let's sing, let's play volleyball. Let's merupakan kata perintah, jadi harus kita tambahkan tanda seru di belakang. Let plus me atau sering kita sebut let me. Dalam bahasa Indonesia itu artinya adalah biarkan saya atau izinkan saya. For example, let me introduce myself. Let me sing in front of you and etc. Let tidak hanya ditambah oleh me saja, boleh ditambahkan dengan subjek yang lainnya. For example, let them go. Biarkan mereka pergi. Let her sing. Biarkan dia bernyanyi and etc. Yes, that's for let's. Hi Jim, where are you going? Hi John, I'm going to practice badminton. Would you please teach me playing badminton sometimes? Okay, just call me later. Would you, in the dialect, indicates expressions of how to give instructions? We will learn about would you. Yes, would you means maukah kamu. Would you itu artinya maukah kamu. Jadi, kalau kita nanti mau menyuruh orang secara formal ini, bisa kita pakai ungkapan would you. Dan would you itu formulanya, the formula of would you is would you plus the one. Biar infinitifnya nak tidak ada itu is or s. Tidak ada itu nanti di belakang kata kerja. And then the another example of would you, kalau kamu mau pakai would you, bisa contohnya seperti ini. Would you mind open the window for me? Misalnya, would you mind open the window? Bisa seperti itu. Atau contohnya. Would you like to pour the tea for me? Apakah kamu mau menuangkan tehnya kepada saya? Itu juga bisa dipakai, nak? Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, morning. Can you tell me the information about the painting? Sure, I can. Can I in the dialogue? Indicates the expression of how to ask for permission. May I ask you about this question, ma'am? Of course, dear. May I, in the dialect, indicates expressions of how to ask for permission in more polite way. Okay, students, now we are going to learn about the can I or may I. What's the meaning about the can I or may I? In Indonesia, it's mean that bolehkah saya atau bisakah saya? Okay, please look at the formula about the can I or may I. Can I plus for one. Okay, can I or may I? Plus verb one. Don't forget it. Plus verb one. Okay. So, may I is more polite than can I. Jadi, 
may I itu lebih sopan diungkapkan dibandingkan dengan can I gitu ya nah, tapi maknanya sama fungsinya sama cuman dia lebih sopan menggunakan may I than can I oke okay. look at the this is the example for you for example can I help you or may I help you oke okay. that is a one example for you how to use can I or may I that's all for our material for this module and see you on the next video